Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Welcome to a beautiful new week. Today is Monday, the 21st day of November, 2022. Today, we're looking at heart's passion, a pathway to vision. The Bible says, and when he was full 40 years, he came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel, Acts 7:23 thought for the day, when you are passionate, you undermine resistance. Vision is a revelation of God's plan for a person's life. When a person comes to the point of understanding God's plan for his or her life, that person is at the point of vision. Knowing how crucial vision is as far as destiny fulfillment on earth is concerned, we're going to look at one of the ways we can arrive at vision, which is the discovery of heart's passion. Passion of the heart is a problem that you are yearning to solve. It is whatever makes you uncomfortable if it is not done. Your passion is what will not leave your heart alone. Acts 7.23 There are two things I want you to take note of regarding passion. The first is that passion of heart is a clue to purpose of life. Whatever is a passion in your heart, it's connected to the purpose of your life. Hence, passion is a foundation for vision. Number two, passion is your vehicle to your portion in life. If you drive in the vehicle of passion, you can reach your portion. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 3 and 4. Now, what is the connection? between vision and passion. First of all, passion influences vision and fuels drive. Whenever something has become your passion, especially God, a God's given passion, it's almost inevitable that it becomes your vision. Secondly, passion fuels pursuit and persistence. Where a man has passion, there he won't lack pursuit. When you are passionate, you undermine resistance. Thirdly, passion is contagious. It is infectious. Passion has the capacity to recruit vision implementations. Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. It was a fire that drew Moses' attention. So it is fire that you carry that will draw the attention of people that are relevant to your life and your destiny. Remember this, that when you are passionate, you undermine resistance. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, generate passion by hanging out with, with the consuming fire. Secondly, associate with passionate people and open your eyes to the needs of your generation. And thirdly, Whenever God reveals a vision to you, run with that vision. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask that you direct my passion towards your perfect will. Use me as an instrument to affect my generation for you. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise God. I'm happy and I believe that God is set to ignite you with his passion in the name of Jesus. Before you can really know God's passion or experience God's passion, you have to be born again. Jesus has to be the Lord of your life. If you want Jesus to be the Lord of your life today, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm happy you prayed that prayer, and I believe the Lord has heard you and answered you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will help you to live a life that truly pleases Him, in Jesus' name. Praise God.
We're reading 1 Corinthians chapter 5, 6, and 7 today. And I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God causes his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in the name of Jesus. You have yourself a most glorious week ahead and God bless you in Jesus' name. 